Good morning, Modern Steaders. If you've been following us on social media, you saw the picture of all the wood I went and got the other day. It's time for our next project. We're going to be working on building our root cellar today. We got four 10 foot 2x6s, we got 30 8 foot 2x6s, and 13 pieces of plywood. Let me get the 10 footers cut, we'll bring them inside, and I'll show you where we're going to be building our root cellar. Boy, is it chilly outside this morning. I'll have to keep that fire cranking. It's kind of hard when you're working outside in the cold and going right back and forth inside. You don't want to overdress because then you'll be sweating your butt off when you're working inside. Here's the area we cleaned out a little bit and we'll be putting our root cellar in. The reason we chose this location, this is the north side of our house. We're not going way in back where our freezer and our well pump is because they'll generate heat. So we don't want them in our root cellar. We're going to be building a wall right here. And then over here on this side, I'm going to be building it down here. The other reason we chose this area is there was basement windows in the foundation that we blocked off. If you touch them, they're still cold. This one is, I didn't insulate it. So we'll be able to get fresh air from outside from there to keep the root cellar cooler. We'll be talking about that later on. I have my two two by sixes on the ground. That's going to be my top and my bottom plate. Then I can measure off of them and see how long my two by sixes need to be. You don't want to just measure in one spot. Measure the whole length of your floor. Your floor might not be level, and if that's the case, it'll and if that's the case, it'll throw off your measurements. Now I'm going to be marking layout of where I'll be putting my upright 2x6s. When working with 2x6s, if you have a bigger square that can go across both of them the full length, it makes it easier for doing layout. I put my X on the side I want my 2x6 to go on of the line.
using our air gun with our air compressor. I can't tell you how long we wanted a root cellar for. This is fun to actually finally be building our root cellar. Now this could prove interesting. One person, a wall. Now we gotta stand it up. Close as we're gonna get for now. It's floating, so we're gonna leave it alone until we get the front wall off. All right, now we can go cut the two by sixes for the other side. It feels nice coming out here into the cooler air. See how this one goes. We had a couple we need to put in afterwards. If we didn't, it really would have made it a pain to stand the walls up. Okay, I have my two two by sixes cut for the front wall. We gotta figure out our door. If you don't know, if you're new to the channel, we love barn doors here. We have some old hardware that we took out from the inside of the house. I was kind of noisy. We're going to use that on this door. So I'm just trying to figure out where all that's going. And that's the layout I got to figure out first. This can be my studs for the doorway opening. I'm going to go with a 30 inch wide opening. 
and then we've got to figure out our 16 inches on center from there. So let's pull from this corner. Five, six, seven, full length two bys. This one, and this one, and this one will be short. So we'll do those after we get the door up and in place. This wall, we don't have enough room to build it and then stand it up. We're going to build it in place, which will take a little bit longer, but we'll achieve the same goal. Alright, so we got our door opening, not roughed in yet, we gotta get the height done. But this exterior wall, all is up. Show you this side. Getting kind of tight over here for room, so we got there. I don't know if you're thinking what I'm thinking yet, but this is gonna be a great project. Okay, now we got our, what they call, jack studs the door. As I'm going along, I'm trying to keep my 2x6 straight, and this end's kicking out. If I can't push it in, you can use a clamp, but another trick is toenail it on the bottom. And then take your hammer. And of course, it didn't work that time. Let's try it again. There. Now it's flush and we can finish nailing the rest of it. Don't mind looking at my messy basement. time it's where we're gonna have to end today's video I think we made great progress we got it all framed in tomorrow fingers crossed we can get it all insulated and sheathed and then we're gonna think about a door after we get it insulated and sheathed I'll share some of my ideas for the area for you other than just a root cellar I don't know if that gets your mind thinking or not but I need to think of a good solid door We'll talk more about that tomorrow. This is gonna be fun. I am excited and looking forward to this project. It was just gonna be a root cellar when I started, but the more and more I've been working on it, my brain's been turning. So, have to wait and see. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it. It really helps the channel grow. And I'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.